G'day everyone, welcome to Animal Tales with Tim Faulkner, that's me. And today, I'm talking about something very cool and very deadly, and an important role that the Australian Reptile Park plays. I'm talking about funnel web spiders. Now, funnel web spiders are one of, if not, the world's deadliest spiders. They have been responsible for taking lives in Australia. That's where we come in. We keep a population of spiders and we extract their venom, who make it into anti-venom. Now we've been doing this since the early 1980s and we saved so many lives. I hear stories every year of people that were bitten, received anti-venom and survived. And you know, since we started this program in the early 1980s, no one has died from a funnel web spider bite. Let's talk about the spiders. Uh, they are incredibly venomous. And it's interesting the way their venom works because it affects primates and humans, but like, it doesn't affect dogs. It does affect insects, which are their primary food source. But let's have a look at the spiders. They are big, they are black, and they are hairy. But you know, you don't have to be worried about a funnel web jumping up and biting you on the neck. They don't do that. They don't even run fast and they can't jump. Now, let's look at the spider itself. It's a heavy bodied spider. Now, the reason they rear up and show us those really big fangs is because they can't run away. They can't jump away. Their defense is to trust their venom and show you their fangs. And you know what they're trying to say? Leave me alone. I don't want to fight. Their venom is really designed for killing their prey and beginning to digest it from the inside out. They don't want to waste it on a human. Male and female funnel webs have differences. Now for a start, the male funnel web is six times more venomous than the females. But you want to know something interesting? The male is much smaller than a female. And after they mate, the female eats the male. Now otherwise, they look really similar. They've got those long legs with little hairs all over them. Those hairs can detect movement around their web of maybe a bit of prey that's coming in. Their abdomen is quite soft and that's what the females will carry their eggs inside. Now up around their head, it's very black and shiny and look at those big fangs. They're incredibly long and very hard. Now, I wanna go through how we extract the venom. How do you milk a funnel web spider? The way in which we extract the venom is to use a little vacuum and on the end of that vacuum is a pipette. It's a little glass cylinder. Now, we use that vacuum, we just tickle the spider. Just touch the hairs on its legs, and they're really cranky. They rear up, and on the end of each of their fangs, we get a little droplet of venom. That's where the vacuum comes in. We suck that venom into the pipette, and once we get enough, and it can take hundreds of milkings, hundreds and hundreds of milkings to produce enough antivenom to save just one life. Now, I know a couple of years ago, there was a young boy who was bitten by a funnel web spider. He needed 12 vials of antivenom. That's hundreds of milkings for us. That's why we have to keep so many spiders. There are some things you can do to help yourself and prevent from being bitten by a funnel web spider. Now, they live along the east coast of Australia, and it happens to be where most of us live. Now, what happens is, females tend to live in particular areas and they stay there their whole life. And the way you might get bitten by a female is when you're gardening. Make sure you wear gloves. If you lift up a big rock, that's where a female lives. But it's the males that are most interesting. After we get some rain in summer, they go out in search of love. And when they do that, that's when they turn up in weird areas. So for example, it's rained, it's nice and moist and humid, the males go out in search of love. But the sun comes up and they hide. Now, if they happen to be around your house and you've left your clothes on the ground, outside, that's what they'll hide under. If your shoes are outside, that's what they'll climb in. And we go out and put our shoe on and bang, you get bitten. So, keep your shoes inside. Or when you pick them up, make sure you hit them out. In summer, don't leave your beach towels lying on the ground because you could have a funnel web. Hang them up on the line. I'm sure mum would be very happy if you did that. But there are things we can do to prevent from being bitten. But what do you do if you are bitten? Uh, you need first aid. Australia has so many venomous spiders. If you're bitten by a spider and you're not sure what it is, go to hospital. The worst thing that can happen is you wasted your time, but at least you know you'll be safe. Now with funnel webs in particular, you need a specific first aid. So what you want to do is, Grab a bandage. If you don't have a bandage, use a pair of pants, anything you can find. Wrap it. Most people will get bitten on the fingers or the toes. So whether it's your arm or your leg, 
start with the bandage. Start, leave your fingers out a little bit. You wanna know it's not too tight. If your fingers turn blue, the bandage is too tight, but don't take it off. Put the bandage on like you would a sprained ankle and you wrap it around, go all the way up your arm, over your clothes. Make sure you take any rings or jewelry on that you might have on because your hand's gonna swell up. Get that bandage on. You can then just do something like undo a button or just put your arm in a sling and hold it there. Keep it really soft. Once you've got it there, you need to remain calm. The faster your heart beats, the more you're circulating that venom. A couple of bits of homework for today. There are some spiders that can be easily mistaken for funnel webs, but I don't want you to try and do that. If you get bitten by a spider, you go to hospital. But I want you to research and tell me what spiders can be confused for funnel webs. And make sure they live in the same area. I don't want to know about a tarantula in South America that looks like a funnel web, because we wouldn't find them in the same spot. But there are a couple of spiders that are commonly mistaken for funnel webs. What are they? And next, I would like you to research and draw me a picture of a funnel web spider being milked. Now you can find it on Reptile Park Facebook, you can find it on our website, but I want you to show me the process. The little vacuum, the glass pipette, some big fangs and a spider rearing up. And good luck with that. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Now, the keepers and I are looking after all of our animals and our families, but we all have a bit of extra time at the moment, like you probably do too. So this is a great distraction for us and hopefully you. Now, if you like what you've seen or wanna show me your homework, just put it into the comments. This is what I do, connecting people with nature and that can't stop. I'll see you next time.